Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. If you're an individual that is suffering with rheumatoid arthritis, uh, this is some really important information for you. Uh, we know that rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition that attacks the joints. It's not only attacking the, the, the joint structure, but the ligaments, the connective tissue, etc., in those areas, leading to inflammation and unfortunately long-term uh, deformation of the joint structures. Now, autoimmune means that the immune system is seeing some type of structure in the joint regions of the body as being foreign. And so it's actually, the immune system is attacking the joints um, or something in the joints that <clears throat> the immune system believes to be a problem. Uh, and obviously this leads to tremendous pain, swelling, discomfort, and, and disability long-term. Now, typically, rheumatoid arthritis is treated with immune suppressive drugs. Uh, and these, you know, in the short term, can be helpful to just short circuit the disease process to try to calm things down and give people relief. <clears throat> Unfortunately, many of these drugs have significant side effects themselves. Uh, and for some individuals, they certainly can control the symptoms or maybe help control at least the worsening of a rheumatoid arthritis problem. But they don't really get at the underlying issue of what is the potential trigger or triggers for rheumatoid arthritis. And we know that in, in many autoimmune disorders, there can be multiple triggers. Now, from a complementary medical standpoint, you know, as a physician now that's worked with individuals with chronic health problems, including rheumatoid arthritis for years, one of the things that I have seen that is a trigger for many people is infections, um, particularly intestinal infections. And there are a number of different bacterial infections which are thought to trigger the symptoms of RA or, or at least induce the immune system um, to attack the body. Uh, and these things need to be evaluated very, very uh, critically. Now, in, in, an interesting study recently was showing that there is a crossover between a bacteria called Clostridia um, and the onset of inflammatory arthritis. Now they know that Clostridia can lead to inflammatory bowel disease and many times in the patients that I've seen over the years anything that worsens the, the bowel itself um, and inflammation certainly being one of that can lead to a systemic effect of inflammation and for many people lead to a worsening of joint problems. So in the ensuing videos in this series, I'll talk a little bit more about infections in general, clostridia in general, with respects to RA and some of the treatments that have been done in the past and are currently ongoing um, that help many individuals with rheumatoid arthritis. Thanks.